Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nintendo Prime. We got another video for you today. Also got a little podcast shirt action here. So we got brand new podcast merch. If you want to head down into the description to find out more. And yeah, this is actually a new hat. You see that? Doesn't that look slick? The white hat, gray brim. We actually have um, other color options for this as well. But um, yeah, this hat is baller and you might see it in a lot more videos just because I like white hats. I like hats in general. Sometimes I do my hair up, sometimes I wear hats. We're wearing hats today. Uh, I got a, a few stories here to get to you in addition to our prior video earlier today, including a certain Nintendo exclusive IP, um, almost having a sequel practically confirmed at this point. Uh, we can call it a rumor, but all of the stuff actually comes from the developers, so we'll get into that. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct that is supposed to come this month. We'll get into that as well. Uh, and then our final story is going to just be a little bit of a non-story, more so a conversation, a mini conversation about um, something important. Let's just put it that way. But before we get into that, I got to remind you, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED. That's right. If you want to win a Nintendo Switch OLED, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and... You guys have probably guessed it by now. We have a live stream in early October to announce the winner. You're going to want to be at that live stream. So please subscribe, but also be at that live stream. Um, I've been trying to get that live stream set up here for a little bit, but I, I want to make sure the thumbnail is just right. I don't want to be misleading people. It is a worldwide giveaway. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool there. All right, so I got my glasses on quick here just so I can read um, a few of the direct quotes here because our first story deals with a certain game coming from Platinum Games to Nintendo Switch that is not yet announced. Um, so Video Game Chronicle, again, we've been covering this interview all week and just more good nuggets keep coming out of it. And uh, Video Game Chronicle asked Inaba, who runs Platinum Games, it said, Inaba-san, in our last chat, you called Astral Chains Takahisha Tora, your best director, and suggested that he could pick and choose his next project. Has he started working on anything yet? And again, he made an Astral Chain. He's done, I think, uh, Metal Gear uh, Rise in the past, uh, Rising in the past. And he, he's actually got his name behind a number of critically acclaimed games. Remember, Astral Chain, the last game that he did, scored an 87 on Metacritic and has widely been praised by everyone who's played it. It's actually, it's an absolutely fantastic game. I don't even know if we call it underrated. I'm pretty sure it sold 1 to 2 million units on Switch. I'm not sure if we have final numbers on that. Anyways, Anaba responds and says, we've got to keep the superstar busy. He laughs. He says he's working on something, but we can't say what it is. And then Video Game Chronicle presses and says, might we see it announced soon? And Anaba says, it would be nice if that happened. Now, at this point, we obviously don't know what he's working on, right? And it doesn't sound like Anaba can tell us. Now, we have heard from people like Hideki Kamiya from Platinum Games in the past, that when Nintendo is in control, Nintendo decides when you can say something. And Anabo, who runs Platinum Games, is like, yeah, he's working on something, but we can't say what it is. We can't. Not that somebody else can't. Platinum Games can't. And he says, it would be nice if it was announced soon. Meaning he has no idea. Why doesn't he have any idea? Because it's highly likely Nintendo or another company is hiring Platinum Games and that specific director to make a game. But I want to draw your attention to something, and I got to shout out Switch Force for reminding me of this. Thank you so much, Zach. Uh, you do some good work over there. Uh, he reminded me that last summer, Hideki Kamiya was talking in August about various different uh, upcoming Platinum games in their upcoming release schedule. He mentioned things like Bayonetta 3. That's one of the first times he mentioned it, and that's when he told us, hey, Nintendo, we'll let you know when we can unveil it, but blah, blah. We do have Bayonetta 3 coming. He mentioned a couple other games they had in the works, and he tweeted out Astral Chain 2, but then quickly deleted that tweet. I'm guessing he was getting in a, a few phone calls and text messages about that tweet right away and, and went ahead and deleted it. Uh, Astral Chain 2 has not been ever confirmed. And the thing is, sure, he said that. He wasn't. He wouldn't be the one running the game, but now we know that the guy's working on something. It's something that they're not allowed to talk about that clearly somebody else decides when it's time. And we know that Nintendo is a company that holds things back until they're ready to show it themselves. So Astral Chain 2 is very much on deck here for a possibility of coming to Switch, likely next year, I would say. Uh, that I feel like that's given it enough time. You know, we got Astral Chain back in 2019, if they're using the same engine. Uh, that game, by the way, was gorgeous on Switch for what it was. Um, very, very cool. So I'm really hoping that becomes a full-on sequel. 
uh, and that Nintendo and Platinum continue to work together on this brand new IP. Uh, Nintendo does have a focus on new IP, so bringing sequels to those new IPs that have been a success in the past would make a lot of sense. Remember, we just talked the other day about how Damon X Machina might be getting a sequel, or they definitely want to make a sequel. That's another Nintendo console exclusive. Well, Astral Chain, I mean, Nintendo and Platinum, the marriage is, is almost perfect for a game like that. So hopefully we get news on Astral Chain 2 soon. Speaking of news, when might we hear about something like an Astral Chain 2? Well, that would be at a Nintendo Direct. If you guys remember, heading into this month, we did have a one rumor, one source rumor, I think it was Samus Hunter saying that we would get a Direct in September. And then Zippo, a now debunked leaker, uh, I don't care what anybody says, I have done my homework on him, fake leaker, uh, he put out there that it was going to happen in early September, and it was imminent, and obviously that didn't happen. Uh, and we're we're, we're past mid-September now, and it's clearly not going to happen this week either. Uh, but go going uh, more further than that, I did tell you guys um, that I you know, really, really strongly believed um, that we were going to get a Nintendo Direct this month. In, in fact, going as far as to say we will get a Nintendo Direct this month, we just don't know when. And I cited my reasoning for that, of course, being, hey, they've done something major in, in September pretty much since Nintendo Directs have been founded, and there's been a Direct in September. They've done a Nintendo Direct every single year since Nintendo Direct started in September, besides last year, but then last year they didn't do Directs. They did have a Partner Showcase Direct, technically, so you can argue there was a Direct, and they also did do the 35th anniversary of Mario in September. So they still treated September as a big month. So it made sense that there would be a Direct again. Again, history stated there would be. But here we are, and uh, it's getting a little nervous. We still got about six possible dates for directs. Remember, directs typically happen on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Uh, and we have two more, you know, so six total days left in this month for it to still happen. And obviously, we have the upcoming release of Metroid Dread. And by the way, a brand new system that Nintendo keeps not really talking about much in the Switch OLED. So I do think uh, that a direct is probably still on the cards for this month. But here is the gist of it here. Um, we don't know if there's gonna be a Nintendo Direct, and leakers have been weirdly silent about it. Uh, we've had two leakers, um, I'm not gonna mention their names at this point, uh, but they have come out and said they know when the next Direct is happening, but they're not gonna give us a day. Okay, that sounds like they're not very confident in it happening. So to me, when you consider leak culture, you consider Nintendo's history, and you consider the upcoming slate of games, it's not like Nintendo doesn't have things to advertise. They got a bunch of games to advertise the rest of the year. There's going to be another Nintendo Direct this year. At least, that's my feeling. And this is where we get into point number three. I obviously don't know where Nintendo Directs are at. I don't know when one's going to happen. I have no direct connections to Nintendo. I know, I know, sorry that I disappoint you. My bad, I didn't mean to disappoint you that I don't have direct connections. But that's the God's honest truth. I don't know when the next Direct is going to happen. I don't know that anybody does besides Nintendo and maybe partnered companies. Uh, the thing is, a lot of things I say at this channel can be misconstrued because we report on news like we did earlier where, hey, potentially Astral Chain 2 is coming. We, that was a news story. Uh, so when you have the news stories and then you have the conversation around the news stories, people start to jumble it together. So say there's a rumor on a new Direct, and then I come out and state my opinion that I feel a Direct is, is likely or a Direct will happen. Again, those are just opinions. And I have noticed time and time again uh, with commenters, and maybe this goes back to the Switch Pro rumors, that you know people are taking my word and inferring from my word that, uh, hey, you know, I'm telling you a Direct will happen, and I need to be held accountable when I'm wrong. As if we're all held accountable when we have opinions that are just predictions that end up being incorrect. Because, I mean, we're incorrect all the time, right? I source every piece of news that I put up, whether it's a rumor, whether it's a leak, whether it's legit news, trailers, whatever it is, I source everything. And so you can go through my sources on my videos. I link all of them down in the description. In fact, I've been critical of other YouTube channels that don't source, who don't put the sources in the description. Um, I know I just credited like Zach from Switch Force uh, earlier in this video for the little uh, tip about the deleted tweet last year, but of note, he does not put links to his sources down in the description. So you still have to go search on googly googly or Twitter Twitter and find this stuff for yourselves. Now, yes, he does. That doesn't mean he's not giving legit information. He's just making people who want to verify that information 
have to work that much harder. I understand as a YouTuber, it's easy not to do that. In fact, I, cri I criticized Swanwave of that a couple years ago, and he responded very well to the criticism, and he agreed that I'm right, that we should probably be sourcing and putting our sources down in the description. Now, he does that in every video. Um, so that is one, th one thing. If you enjoy his sources being in the description, hey, I'm the one that called them out for it and, and got him to start doing it. But here's the thing. That's not to toot my own horn. That's to point out that while I have legit information, most of what I say after I report on something, like when I talk about how, oh yeah, Anaba this, Anaba that, Kamiya said this, and then everything after that point on forward are my opinions, are my speculation, are my predictions. And I realize they sometimes come off matter of fact, like there will be a direct in September, but then I provide my supporting evidence for why I think there will be. The difference is I don't use the words I think. I don't always use the word IMHO or in my honest opinion. I don't always mention that terminology because I always feel like it's inferred. And I like to feel like my audience is intelligent enough to understand the difference between what's the actual report and what is my actual viewpoints on that report. Uh, and I'm wrong all the time. I make predictions all the time that I'm wrong on. I, may, that, I mean, yeah, I make predictions that I'm right on too, but I'm not running around tooting my own horn because I made some sort of prediction or some sort of opinion that ended up being correct. Uh, that it, it doesn't really matter to me. I enjoy the conversations around games and I give my viewpoints on those conversations. And typically when I get called out, I always point out to people that, I, what are you calling me out for? Uh, quite recently, and I won't name any commenters, I don't want anyone being attacked, uh, told me that, you know, I said there will be a Nintendo Direct, and so he keeps asking me where a Nintendo Direct is, and I keep telling him to go ask Nintendo, because I obviously don't know, but he was just, I don't know about upset, but he was just saying, well, hey, you know, you did say there would be one, so, um, you know, why hasn't it happened yet, and it's kind of like, I, it's my opinion that one will exist, I just don't use that language, because I don't feel like I need to, I feel like Every video, I mean, literally, when you go to my channel, the word opinions is like in, 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 in the banner. Like it's inferred that I pre present opinions along with the news and discussion. So that's just me, though. Um, it is what it is. I am happy, though, if you stuck around to the end of this video, congratulations. Um, we have a giveaway going on next week during the Nintendo Prime podcast, episode 20. We got to celebrate reaching that big two zero uh the next celebration uh giveaway on the podcast i think is going to be episode 50 uh but yeah we have a celebration uh, giveaway next week so you're going to want to tune in live to the podcast because that's the only way you'll be able to win whatever it is that we are giving away um outside of that uh we're going to wrap this up because i got some stuff to do i got you know my, my studio is a bit messy we got to get the studio slash office you know kind of tidied up maybe reorganize some things back here change the background up a little bit uh got, got a lot of cool things coming your way including um some special stuff happening in october uh remember we are still giving away that switch oled as well um so be subscribed to enter for that and obviously show up to our live stream later for that as well i don't know if i'm streaming tonight i don't know what's happening uh, i think i'm just gonna take this time to tidy everything up and uh yeah thank you so much for all of your guys' support um, I know I don't say this enough, um, maybe uh, maybe I'll look a gift horse in the mouth sometime, but we are on the precipice, if not before this video comes out, of hitting 72,000 subscribers, and I know that's just a random number, right? People usually don't mention anything until they hit, you know, 10, 20, 50, and then they'll mention it again when they hit 100. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. 72,000 people choosing to hit that subscribe button, whether it was due to my content, my giveaways, or whatever copious amount of reasons you might have had to subscribe, I appreciate you. I never thought when I started this journey, really four years ago, I know the channel's eight years old, but four years ago is when I started taking YouTube seriously. I never thought I would get past 50,000 subscribers, let alone, you know, we crossed 50,000 back in September of last year, and here we are 20,000 plus more later. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm in awe, to be completely honest. You guys are amazing, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey and hopefully you continue to join me on future journeys because I have a lot of big things I'd like to do with this channel that are going to take continued growth uh, to do. Uh, so thank you so much. You guys are amazing and I'll catch you in the next video.